I know a lot of people who are maybe first time hamster owners, but yet they don't know how to spot clean their hamster's cage. This is not an option you can maybe do every couple of months. It is an essential task to taking care of a hamster. Now, just to clarify, the bare minimum of a hamster cage should really be nowhere under 680 square inches of floor space. But the larger the cage you have, the less you will have to spot clean. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get started. Number one, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and take all your hamsters hides and toys out. Now let me clarify, a lot of hamsters will freak out when all their stuff is suddenly taken away, understandably. But Ashley is strangely one of the few hamsters who literally doesn't care. So if your hamster does get stressed, skip to step two. Number two, the next step is going to be taking a plastic spoon, since you probably don't want to use something a human is going to be putting their mouth to, and go ahead and pick out any hamster waste or soiled bedding. Number three, now the third step is going to mainly depend on how much sold bedding you took out earlier. Number four, next we're going to go ahead and refill our hamster's water bottle or bowl. Now for Ashley, I do have both. Not for really any particular reason, but really just a precaution. Now, if you do have an elderly hamster, then I would definitely suggest having both. Number five. So our next step is gonna be spot cleaning our sand bath. Now, if you guys do not currently own a sand bath, then you need to get one as quickly as possible because really, since a hamster cannot get wet, this is how a hamster bathes themselves. I am probably going to upgrade to a Night Angel sand bath soon, but for now I am literally using just a plastic bin from the dollar store. So something so cheap and easy works great, but, but I do however have to make a couple ramps leading in and out just because the bin is so deep. In the description below I have put links to everything that I mentioned, so make sure to go check that out. So the sand that I use is awesome for a hamster and it is the Zoo Med Reptile Sand 10 pound bag from Amazon. This kind works great, just make sure the one you get doesn't have any dyes or chemicals in it. Again, you can purchase the sand using the link in the description below. To clean this, you are simply gonna use a sifter or a wire mesh kitchen strainer and sift it, draining all the good sand into a bucket. Number six, the next step, we're gonna go ahead and take any wheels or ceramic pieces and just give them a rinse off. Now the wheel that I currently have, I know is not the best size, but I am getting closer to purchasing a Night Angel cage and along with that comes a new larger wheel. So let's go ahead and rinse off those accessories. Number seven, so now comes the fun part. Putting all your hamster accessories back into the cage however you want. Honestly, this is a huge pro in owning a hamster as you can basically decorate their cage whichever way you want.
number eight. And our last step, you're gonna go ahead and feed your hamster. Now, of course, your schedule may be a bit different and you may have just fed your hamster yesterday, then you probably will just wanna wait. So today, Ashley gets her regular seed mix, some herbs, some veggies, corn, sunflower seeds, millet, and also a couple treats. And I personally like to scatter feed Ashley just as it makes her have to look for her food and forage for it. Bowl feeding is also fine. It really doesn't matter as long as your hamster is getting the proper nutrients. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to spot clean your hamster's cage. Make sure to comment below and also subscribe. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!